20 divided by 20 gives us 1. And again here, for the second pair, we have 20 divided by 20, which also gives us 1. So naturally, 1 divided by 1 gives us 1. But this answer is not correct, because according to the order of operations, first we have to do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication or division, and the finally addition or subtraction. Remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we have to work from left to right, and the same applies to addition and subtraction. In this expression, we have three division signs back to back and absolutely no parentheses to guide us. Here we have a massive psychological trap because in mathematics, when we see identical numbers repeated with the same sign, we instinctively want to group them into pairs. We usually prefer nice round numbers, so our brain jumps to the easiest integer solution, which makes us feel smart but is actually completely wrong. Okay, so according to the PEMDAS, first we have to do the first division on the far left, then the next one, and finally the last one. If we do this last division before the first ones or try to group them nicely, it is wrong. So first this division on the left. 20 divided by 20 gives us 1. So we have 1 divided by 20 divided by 20. Now we have two divisions remaining. According to the PEMDAS, we must proceed strictly from left to right because they are the same operation. So here, first we have to do this division. 1 divided by 20 gives us the fraction 1 20th. So we have 1 20th divided by 20. Now we have just one division left to solve. To divide a fraction by a number, we can change the division to multiplication and use the reciprocal. Dividing by 20 is the same as multiplying by 1 over 20. So we have 1 20th times 1 20th. Now we just multiply across. The numerator 1 times 1 gives us 1. The denominator 20 times 20 gives us 400. So we have 1 over 400, and this is our final answer to this problem. The correct answer is 1 over